Today, just received my Stealth Performance Module for my 2013 Cummins with DEF. Um, we're going to do a little bit of a, uh, a reveal with it here. So, let's see what they sent us. Now, I would like to say that uh, Stealth Performance has very good customer service. Any questions that you would ever need regarding how the, how the unit works, warranty issues, um, so now there is a big debate between deleting a truck or actually running emission safe tuning. My vehicle is still within the factory warranty period, so I kind of want to play on the safe side and just run a module that interfaces in with the stock ECM rather than deleting the tune or deleting the factory tune by itself and then writing over top of that. So here we go. Let's see what they sent us. So here's the module itself. This is actually quite small, which is nice. Got a little RAM logo on there. Um, seems to only have one connection point on it, so this is this would be pretty good to to mount in a you know I'm not really weather born area, so it's not going to get destroyed by water. So it's kind of small, so you can gives you a lot of options to put it wherever you need to put it. Here's our big main wiring harness. Here's our selector switch. Now this unit you can select between. It's got one, two, three, four positions. So stock, 30 horsepower, 60 horsepower, then 100 horsepower. I will say, when you install this switch, make sure the switch is turned all the way to the left before you try to use the unit. Um, what else we got in here? We got a couple of zip ties. And then of course, we have the instructions manual. So right there you go. Um, I will put a link in the description for this specific unit itself. So installation instructions, it seems pretty straightforward. Uh, the biggest pain is looks like it's going to be actually accessing the injector harness wiring right here. I am going to do an installation video of this specific unit in my truck. So if you want to know how to install it on yours, you can go ahead and check that out later. And of course, finally, a sticker from them. Let's open this harness up a little bit. <clears throat> Already, I like that all the wires are is coated with anti-chafing, and of course it's sealed off with shrink wrap, so you don't have to worry about this rubbing through any other wiring. I'm assuming that goes to power, and that looks like one injector harness, and then your other injector harness. Let's see here. Yep, yeah, engine ignition harness. In injection harness flywheel positive negative wire here and then this is what plugs into the unit itself and then you got that little plug there which looks like that's where your switch goes into so it seems pretty straightforward nothing crazy too complicated I'm guessing it probably should take um, 30 minutes or so the hardest part looks like it's figuring out actually where I want to mount this switch I don't want it to be in a cubby area where I'm going to drop something on it and possibly bend the switch or break it. But I also don't want it to be readily in the open. I like to have a, a semi-factory look when I install it. Uh, do take note that if you just drove your vehicle, I would wait, you know, give it 30 minutes or so to let your engine, engine compartment cool down so you're not burning yourself on anything inside there. So, go out and get yourself a stealth, uh, stealth module and stay legal, have fun. I'm hoping uh, to pick up a few miles per gallon. I do tow a camper on the regular. Um, so it will be nice towing up and up and down these Arkansas hills uh, to see a little bit of fuel increase. Plus, I do daily drive my vehicle. So any fuel mileage savings there, of course, is going to be more money in my pocket. Later on down the road, I may delete the vehicle. I'm not sure yet. Um, but I just kind of plan on keeping it stock. I'm going to clean the EGR and whatever. Um, so go check Stealth out. Like I said, I'll put a link in the description for the specific unit and have fun.